What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be taking a look at Cali Purple here. I might install it into my VMware workstation here. That way we can look into it and get another Linux system on our, machine, our machines here. So uh, if you go to Google, you can look up Cali Purple and go to the Get Cali link here. Just make sure it's Cali.org. Uh, when you get there, uh, the site will load here. And you'll get, uh, just scroll down and you'll get to installer images. And then scroll down a little bit more, and you'll see here Cali Purple, feeling red, feeling blue, Cali Purple, you do you. It's cute. Um, so here's the Cali Purple here ISO. I already got that downloaded. Uh, it's about 4 gigabytes, so might take some time to download for you there. But once you have the ISO, we can start getting this loaded into VMware Workstation here. Uh, if you guys want a video on how to get VMware Workstation for free, let me know. Um, otherwise, you can go to YouTube and search that up. It's uh, pretty easy to get for free. So we're going to go ahead here and start a new virtual machine here. Um, we're going to do typical setup here. And we're going to boot from an ISO. We're going to pick our uh, 2024 Kali Linux Purple here. Hit Next. Uh, we got to pick what type of system it is. So Linux, and then select Debian from the list here. So we're just going to go WM12, should be fine. Um, make sure to give it a name. So I'm going to name it Cali Purple here. And then uh, make sure you're storing it in the right location too. So for me, i got to double check if I want this in my C drive or if I want this on an external drive. And my C drive is fine. i got enough space on there. Now you're going to set up how much uh, disk space you want to give it. So I'm going to give it 50 gigs. And then hit Next. So 50 gigs, um, we can customize the hardware here. Um, I'm gonna give it some more memory. So I'm just gonna click on eight gigabytes of RAM. Should be enough. Um, you can also change the processors here. So I'm gonna give it some more processors too. Um, you can know how much processing power you can give your virtual machine if you just go to uh, Task Manager. And um, if you go to Task Manager here and pull up your CPU, you can see how many cores here that you have. So make sure not to give it too much, not all of your cores and processing power, but definitely enough to be useful. So we'll give it, um, let's just do, I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm just gonna do eight and two right now. So 16 processing cores, uh, everything else should be okay. So I'm gonna hit close on that, hit finish. And then we should see a pop up here. Um, I'm going to move it into my Linux folder here. You can make a folder, just right click new folder, and you can separate your VMs here. And we're going to go ahead and power on Cali Purple. I'll try to mute that for you guys. That was a little loud. So we're going to do graphical install here. Just press enter. Uh, what I was saying is I've never installed this before, so we're going to be looking at this together. But I'm assuming it's going to be the same install as Kali Linux, but we'll see. So you're going to pick your language here, English, your location, United States, kind of keyboard you want, American English is fine. It's going to do its rounds here. All right, it's going to ask for your host name, so we're going to name it Kali Purple. Uh, that's not valid. Cali uh, hyphen purple. Can't have a space in there. Domain name you can leave blank unless you're adding it to a domain, but most of you probably won't be. So I'm just going to name my account Bertsec. Username is going to be Bertsec. We're going to make a password here. Hit continue. Uh, what time zone you're in. So I'm going to put central. And then it's going to go ahead and install the image for you. It's going to start partitioning the disks. We get might get a pop up here about partitioning, just confirming that we can partition it. Yep. So we'll get the partition disk here. Um, so this is basically the same install as Kali Linux, but uh, guided use entire disk. That's fine. We're going to use the whole disk. All files in one partition. It's fine. Finish partitioning and write to disk, yes. 
Do you want to change this to the desk? Yes. And then it's going to install the system here. You're going to get a pop-up section here regarding what tools you want to install. Um, so for everything here, um, I'm just going to keep everything detected, but you can see there's identity, protect, detect, response, recover. Um, make sure you keep the default uh, desktop here, but uh, everything should be fine. It just may take a little bit to install all this tool, all these tools. So just hit continue there and then I'll start installing that software. Alright, you'll get a pop-up here saying install Grub bootloader. So go ahead and press yes and hit continue. Uh, select the, the, the partition here, hit continue. Alright, then we get a message that the installation is complete here, and we'll hit continue to reboot. All right, we should be able to log in now with the account that we created. The username is case sensitive, so just remember that. And once you're in here, you're on Cali Purple now. So we can click I finish installing here at the bottom and we can check out the system here. So if we open up the terminal here, nothing, nothing too different here. Looks like there's some different tools here. So we have zero one identity, which has some um, different tools we can use here. We have protect, detect, respond and recover. And then looks like you still have your Kali Linux tools here, the offensive security tools as well. So yeah, that's how you install Kali Linux Purple. So if you want to go in here and play around with it, um, you know, follow the steps in this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, maybe consider subscribing. And you have yourself a beautiful evening. Goodbye.